Yes, it is I from Reactive Terrain. And yes, it is him. I am here. From Reactive Terrain. <laughs> no, so we've been into our new area next yes. door. We are officially in. Oh, but we are nowhere close to even getting anything started. Um, He'll post the video. I'll put a little video right now, <laughs> just so you can have a little look at what we're dealing with. We have been given our keys to the abandoned workshop <laughs> next door. Look at what we have got to deal with. Yep, before we can even do anything, we've got to sieve, clear, remove, sell, whatever we can do to give back to the farm. Yep. We we have got so much work, so much work. Yeah, it's um, you know, the but we farm, was expecting. We it. yeah, we were expecting it, and the farm have been absolutely fantastic. So we've got a long way <laughs> before we before we can even start building. So we've been in there. We're kind of having a sniff around, find out what needs to be done. We're going to try and uh, box up a load of tools. Uh, it's not a quick process. Um, it's going to take a while. So. We haven't done much video in today because, well, we had not yeah, 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 we've been in there. However, however, he has been dying to try this. On one of our live chats, I showed everybody that I brought some new tyres. And they weren't your usual rock crawling, rock -crawling tires. tires. They were these new tires. Well, new to us, new to me. I hadn't seen them ever before. Uh, these TRX4M tires that they advertised for the Traxxas. And they were called the Adhesive Crawlers. And I'm going to show you on them again. They're like lorry tyres. Yeah. Semi tyres. Semi truck tyres. And I literally thought, I'll just give them a quick go before I put the video on. And they did something that I was like, right, right. Let's just stop. <laughs> and let's get the camera rolling. It was a kind of wow moment. Yeah. So we're going to put it back. And G-Dog's going to take the camera. I am. I'm going to see what these puppies can do. Okay. So I've put the tyres on my comp rig and it, it's about the 450, 500 gram mark. So not overly heavy, kind of the mid marker. And we're going to see what they can do. Over the track. Over reactive terrain. Let's, yeah, let's just give it a go. Oh. Now they're a lot lighter because I have got them on lighter wheels. So I've lost a bit of ground weight, so... We shall see how that affects the performance. And they do rub a little bit on that front arch. There we go. They do. Okay. All right, let's give the hook a go. <laughs> no no problem, problem over that. Wow. Well. Up the hook. Okay, over the rocks. Now I'm used to a bigger tyre, Adam's not. Oh wow, okay, I'm impressed. So, yeah, they go over that. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I just got to remember this isn't the wrecker with silly articulation. No. Um. See, with the bigger tyre, you can afford to just... Yeah, it will drop down a little bit, which is good. <laughs> wow. Okay. So far, so good. Well, it is the flattest bit of the trail. Oh. Yeah, we're good, we're good. It is. Right, now, we are, have just gone past the slipperiest stone on the circuit. So, this is super super st slippery there isn't any rig so far that has managed to get up there i don't think they're going to do it oh if they do i'll tell you i'm going home now. Yeah, if they do everyone's going to buy some but um <laughs> let's uh i'll buy me lamppost we'll have a look get a decent angle on it no they're not going up there I mean, we know that the truck can work really well. It's amazing how much Ooh. once you lose. Oh, oh, unlucky. 
once you lose a bit of weight on those wheels, these are a lot lighter than what my wheels were that I've taken off. And you can straight away notice the difference in the rig. Yeah, yeah. And the way it's performing. Performs. But okay, just you know, again, it's another, just, just another set of tires you've got to try. You do have to oh, definitely get into a point where for they kind of lose that grip that grip so yeah once they get put under any form of pressure they definitely don't bite you really got to give them some yeah but it does make it difficult to keep the line when you have yeah, to kind of give it some welly yeah because you're spinning then aren't you yeah so far Always moved a big rock, he's stuck. Oh. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Um, They're performing better than I thought they would. Uh, uh, do you know what? They are definitely not what I wasn't expecting them to be anywhere as, as close good as to this. this. No. Um, not that I've gone many places yet, but. Well, you've been along with the flat. Yeah, I've got along with the flat. Up the wheel vice if you can do it. They feel like they want a grip. They do they do grip. The only thing I do find with them is slow. They don't they're not very precise. That's right find them lacking a bit of precision however you say that a hey, bit we'll, slower if i can slow it down this is a good test i mean they are really dusty now that that sticky surface that adhesive surface has definitely gone now yeah that sideward grip definitely uh disappeared they're definitely dusty <laughs> i mean they look cool they do look cool they definitely struggle with sideward grip. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Just there's no sideward grip at all. No. The moment you get that at an angle and, and, and bury the throttle, they just slide sideways. Okay. So they definitely struggle. I wasn't too sure what to expect. Maybe if you took the phones out and run them as... No, I mean, they grip. Going forwards, they grip. As long as you're not having to kind of deal with too much of a tilt, they work really well. Right, let's try it to see if I can get up. The big one. No. Kill him. I see what you mean about having to spin the wheel. Yeah. I'm impressed. <laughs> he's ripped it off but he made it that is you know
Well, overall... Well, they ain't... They're, they're not no knobbly rock crawling tyres. But they actually do a lot better than I was expecting. I didn't expect I didn't you expect to make it. I didn't expect to get it. up Copper Mount. No. I mean, that... Um, a lot of... Miner's Mount. I didn't expect to get up there at all. A lot of people struggle up that one anyway. And, you know, it, it went. Bounced up. It bounced up. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, a bit... I mean, they've definitely got no sideward grip. No. There is no sidewards grip whatsoever i'd be really curious to see what these are like in on wet condition well we can't do that at the moment but we will be able to yeah i mean i could spray up a rock and see if it actually did anything yeah should we wet a rock up yeah okay adam is spraying the rocks let's no we know we've just seen it do it so it could get up here I think it's just going to sit there spinning. Oh, I think it possibly could just sit there spinning as well. Um, How much water do you want? Well, you know, might as well make it wet <laughs> if we're going to do wet. All right, let's see if they tackle wet rock. Well, the answer to that most of the when we wet them up most people struggle the answer to that was yes you just made that look easy they really did look really easy right more water more water, more water. okay oh, we've got rivers and mud and bogs and all sorts right okay more water more let's water. go again I'm super impressed with those in the wet. Okay, right. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these off. I'm going to put my Hyraxes back on. I'm going to see how well the Hyrax is on the wet rock. Okay. Let's do it. So the Hydrax are back on. They are back on. Um, D-Dog made a good point. They are a lot heavier than the wheels I was just running because um, these are brass wheels. So but... we are back on the weight. So we went back up. So you went up that really quick. So we went up it really well, really quick. So, shall we give it a go? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. Hydrax is well. Maneuverability. Trying to get out of situations with those tyres is a lot easier than those... The ones that you've just taken Those off. Uh, okay. adhesive crawlers. Um, okay. But they still, you know, so they still climb as... You know, as well as the Hydrax at the end of the day. Well, they seem to. The only thing I've got is I've definitely got more... You see how I can just literally pick a line there and throw myself off a line. But I struggled maneuvering but yeah with these you know these you can maneuver really really well really well okay so maneuverability wise you definitely haven't got the sideways or precision that you do with with knobblies right. however i didn't feel like there was any difference in climbing <laughs> well, so going front climbing they they climb really well right but not on the side but when you're when you're pitched or you've got you know on this type of terrain, no chance. No maybe chance. heavier wheels, maybe possibly with weight they would they would grip more. Um, Be worth experimenting. Yeah, but overall, you're impressed. Well, I was surprised they did what they did. 